So bring in Highsmith. If you play Cody Zeller one more time, it's game over. Okay? Because they know that they can attack when Cody Zeller's in the game. They don't fear Cody Zeller at all. Cody Zeller helps the Boston Celtics. Just trade him to the Celtics. It's the same thing. You might as well just be, you know what, we're going to forfeit the next two minutes and give them ten points. When you're going to decide to put Cody Zeller into the game. Because it's the same thing. We go down ten every single time when Cody Zeller gets in the game. But you still insist on putting him in there. Why? Because you don't want to put your... You know what? You're a racist motherfucker. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write an article right now. I'm going to write a tweet right now. And I'm going to question Spo. I think Spo is racist. The fuck no. Tell me no. Tell me no. Okay, then why isn't your playing? He's been on this team long enough. He knows the plays. He has a great hook shot. He can hit a three. And he can defend. He can defend much better than Cody Zeller. He has more offense than Cody Zeller. He hasn't been hurt. He was hurt earlier in the season, and all the talk was, well, we need to get somebody to fill in for Yurt. So that's why we brought in Deadman. That's why we brought we had somebody else. I don't even remember who the fuck we had. We had somebody, all the young rookie guys that we brought in. We had another Robinson, I think. And what happened to him? Left him in the fucking G League. Because that's what this team loves to do. This team loves to get players that have potential and either leave them on the bench or send them to the G League. The fuck do we need them to play for? You know, we got UD. And no room here. Yurtsevin was supposed to be playing. But then in that whole midst of like, well, you didn't fucking trade for Kevin Durant and you didn't get fucking Harden and you didn't get, who, who mind you, both are sitting on their asses right now at home. And both fucked up two organizations, for sure. But you all wanted them here, and because we didn't get them, and you all cried and clamored, and oh my God, that forced fucking management to make some kind of move. So they get rid of Deadman, because Deadman fucking has a problem with somebody on the fucking sideline. Like, that hasn't happened here before. And what do you get? No, oh, we'll take Cody Zeller. I'm sure he'll help. Look at where you're at now. Take Cody Zeller and say we're all going to go to dinner and pay for his cab, pay for his Uber. Don't worry, we'll, I'll pay for you there. And you give that Uber driver a million dollars. Right? And it's a Tesla. And you just make sure that he locks that shit as soon as he gets out. As soon as he gets in, okay, you drive, and then you just jump out of the car. And you make sure you set everything anonymated. And you make sure that you put like a, this like glass thing in between the passengers, in the back seat, and the front seat so Cody, so Cody can't come through. And you lock all the fucking doors. And you put that bitch on fucking automate. And you send that motherfucker to goddamn the ends of Canada. You send him fucking to like the wilderness. Not even to Alaska, because you don't want him in U.S. territory ever again. You send his ass to, like, it keeps going to the North Pole. But Cody Zeller bumps into some shit, and he comes out, and it's like a North Pole fucking research team, you know, asking him what the fuck is he doing here. And she's disturbing the penguins. You take Cody Zeller, and you strap him to one of the SpaceX fucking rockets. Like, not inside the rocket, like, to the rocket, like, to the front of the fucking rocket, so he feels the goddamn G-forces getting the fuck out of here. You take Cody Zeller and you put him on a fucking slingshot the size of a fucking building, and you send his ass to the moon. I mean... Just give him like a hundred million dollars to leave. We don't gotta torture him. We don't gotta do horrible, nefarious things to him. We don't gotta just give him a hundred million dollars and tell him to get the fuck out of here. 
You just take this money and go, dude. Thank you very much. I'm telling you, bro. What other reason is there for Spo not to play Yurtsuvin? <clears throat> what other reason? Why play the white guy over the Muslim guy? I said it. What the fuck are you going to do? We're going into fucking Boston Game 7. Fuck you. Answer the fucking question, Spo. Why haven't you played Yurtsevin? What What's bad about Yurtsevin? Is Yurtsevin just not... Is he not good enough? Why is he on this team? Why didn't you trade Yurtsevin instead of Deadman? Who has more experience? Why, why keep Yurtsevin and rehabilitate his ass and the ankle and spend all that time on him? Why? What are we do? What are you doing? What is he on this? What is he on this team for? Is he is he a babbling idiot? Is he just? Is he here to get you coffee? I'm going for the most extreme fucking reason because this is extreme fucking dire situation, bro. You're, you're, no, you're not just down three. You're not just down now. I mean, you're, you're just, you're up against, you're not, just, you're not up against a wall. You're not even up against history, bro. Like, you, I think your legacy and your job is on the line right now. This whole thing is on the line. This shit blows up like this, bro. I'm like, Pat Riley's gone. Why would you stick around? You're going to go become fucking president. You're going to take his job. As soon as Pat Riley's gone, you're going to take his job. We all know this. We all know this. And then who the fuck is going to find out? We go, we got to deal fucking fighting our coach for the next 20, 30 years and shit. Half our team's going to fucking leave because, you know, we can't afford their contracts now because, like, you know, all the underdog guys are, are now going to all want to get paid because they all busted their fucking ass while Bam and fucking Butler get paid and don't do shit. And they're all going to want to leave. They're not going to want to stay here. Fuck E culture. E culture only gets you so far right now. Well, yeah, they're going to go fucking chase a chip with fucking LeBron. Because you know LeBron, next year, that motherfucker's winning. Wherever LeBron is at, that's going to the championship team. That's a, that's going to the, that for sure. I'm sorry. Man, he's not going to leave the Lakers. You don't, think he's, you don't think LeBron was watching this game right now? You don't think LeBron has been watching our team? You don't think LeBron wants any of our guys? I mean, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? They took fucking none from us. You don't think they'll fucking come and snatch Gabe Vincent? You don't think with all your bullshit shit talking, they're not going to come here and try and give fucking Tyler Hero an offer after we offered him a bunch of ton of, we offered, we gave him a ton of fucking money. You don't think someone's going to try and still steal him? We didn't lose tonight because Tyler Hero wasn't playing. Tyler Hero tonight would have been shitty. This was an all-around shitty performance by the team. Who knows, maybe we would have won because it was a one-point fucking game and maybe. But I just think everybody was so indecisive that that, that, shit, was, that shit poisoned everybody. Tyler Hero would have been like, I don't know what the fuck to do now all of a sudden. 